Hey guys, White Manga here with a new video, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to draw faster. And here, I'm going to be using a popular mainstream shonen manga character as a model for this video. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how you guys can draw faster. And then, you know, after that, then I'll talk about the positives of knowing how to draw faster and how much of an advantage that is to you as an artist. Uh, but one of the key things to keep in mind when drawing faster is to first my first tip would be to think in layers right so don't try to think too much about details or don't think too much about anything in fact an extra tip right now would be to not care too much be open to make mistakes be open to you know explore with the pencil be f really free in your wrist and just just you know do some strokes and um, not care too much about it Keep in mind that you have an eraser and the eraser is your friend. If you see something is off, use the eraser. You don't want to rely on the eraser too much, but it's there for a reason. So you want to keep it light, think in layers here. I have the head, very simple, just simple shapes. I have the straw, uh, the, the plus sign, kind of like a guideline in the head, just to kind of let me know where things go. The line that goes across is usually where I figure out where the ears are going to be, and you can see I've put in those. And then simple shapes again just to let me know where the eyes are going to be and then so you know I'm keeping it really light you want to make sure that you're not thinking too much I can't stress that enough it's it, it, nothing is final until it's final keep things simple keep things like shapes think in layers so here don't think in details think in layers and shapes and okay we put in the head we put in the ears and and the eyes and like the pupils and all that stuff but if you look at everything it can be broken down into simple shapes and one thing that a lot of people uh, say that might help you in drawing fast is maybe doing some warm-up sketches before you do it so like just experimental warm-up sketches before you actually draw whatever you whatever it is you want to draw so you know this is me already assuming that you guys have sketchbooks and all you need really is just a pen pencil I, I prefer a mechanical pencil, but here I'm, I'll be drawing digitally. Um, but usually if I'm drawing traditionally, I use a mechanical pencil, you have your sketchbook, and you have your trusty eraser uh, by your side. One of the things that would help to kind of speed up your drawing, uh, this would be an extra tip, would be to draw, usually draw the same thing over and over again and time yourself. So the first time you drew it, you draw and let's say it took you, I don't know, five minutes try drawing the same thing and try to come up with the same results but beat your previous time and you know maybe at your first try it might not be good but that's the, this is where you get to draw the same thing over and over and over again until you get it until you get it to where you want it to be uh, here with this drawing now I'm kinda of putting in the hair for this character and this is Deku from My Hero Academia and here, you know, putting in the hair that kind of goes over his forehead a little bit. But I'm still thinking very simply in shapes, especially for how the hair overall is going to go over his head. So if you notice, I drew the shape of his head without the hair first, because that's thinking in layers, right? So if, uh, if you've drawn the head, then the hair is the next layer that will go above it, right? So just think, try to break everything down and think very sim uh, in a very simple manner. Now back to the extra tips, like I said, you draw the same thing over and over again and time yourself. A lot of people do sim similar things in life drawing, uh, even though that the goal is not to draw fast in life drawing, it's, 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 it's actually quite different. I don't want to go into too much detail with that, but basically you're drawing over and over again and you can time yourself uh, and that way you can get faster. And over time, it's not going to happen overnight, but over time you will improve and you will, you will notice the... Uh, speed improvement in your work overall. Like I said, when you're drawing, don't be afraid of mistakes. Uh, see, you know, a lot of drawings, when they're doing the actual strokes, like I said, your wrist should be really free. A lot of times they're drawing and uh, you, a lot, people are paying too much attention to like the little tiny strokes and going over it and over it and over it. No, just go like with a stroke and just go whew, like almost across the page, almost across the page. Just be free. Be very free and loose. Don't be too stiff here this drawing a deco that I'm doing right here is something that I'm kinda of doing in real time so you guys can see me drawing it this is not time-lapse and with very little time gone I've already you he's already very recognizable 
So even with the time drawings, if you can draw, it, it, when you time yourself, right, you're trying to beat the previous time. Once that time, when, once you get to the time of the your previous drawing, say it was 10 minutes, in your next drawing, once you hit 10 minutes, just drop the pen and just try to get the drawing as best as you can. But over time, it'll get better. And, you know, you, it'll show signs when you are getting the drawing to where it's recognizable to anybody else what you're actually attempting to draw in such little time. Uh, even when it comes to thinking in layers, also beyond the drawing itself, even the way you sketch. Sometimes you might want to sketch really lightly, very loosely, and not press too much on the paper, and go with like really light, light strokes of the pencil, and then you can go in as the extra layer with maybe darker lines and maybe sometimes even a different pencil with darker lines to emphasize what you're trying to achieve. Um, one of the advantages of knowing how to draw fast, I mean, do I even need to explain this? Like, if you could draw fast and you can do it um, at a strong level, maintaining good quality work, not just like quantity, but like quality work. It's, it's a skill and an advantage you have over other artists. And the art world is very competitive, and if you can beat deadlines and still produce stellar work, you know, that's great. That's great for you. So drawing fast, sketching fast, knowing how to produce work at a fast rate is a great skill to have. Beating deadlines, and it's uh, something that people would notice and keep in mind when trying to hire you. Like, you would be reliable where if they hire you for something, they know, okay, in two days, it's definitely done. It's going to be emailed to me, blah, blah, blah. You get more work that way. Also, you know, if you do work fast, that means you can produce more work. Therefore, you get more work, more work, more money, more, you know, etc. The list goes on. If you finish one part of a one part of a job, you can go to the next job and you work on other things other than staying on one thing and drawing it for like so long trying to be um, Mr. Perfect and you know losing out on other opportunities. Now even though we're trying to do things really fast, one key thing I uh, can't stress enough is that it, you have to be patient when learning anything, especially something like drawing. Uh, not to talk of just like speeding up drawing trying to be fast at it you have to be patient and take your time with it um, it's not gonna happen overnight so remember the tips are just a, a little refresher course here the tips would be to continue training keep practicing and uh, keep your sketchbook by your side try to draw every day and even if you're not doing the thing where you're drawing the same thing over and over again and timing yourself but just draw every day. It will also improve your drawing overall, not just your speed. But your the the better you get over time, the faster you get. That's you know that's just how I've seen things, and that's how things have worked out for me. I don't claim to have all the answers to everything. I'm kind of giving you guys anecdotal ex uh, examples and tips and techniques of things that have worked for me in the past, getting me to where I am currently, and seeing that seeing if I can tell you those things, and people would check trying it trying it out and see if that works for them uh, that basically you guys seeing if it works for you guys uh, so training every day try to sketch every day keep your sketchbook pencil and eraser handy with you be free loose be open to mistakes and experimental sketches sometimes you might want to do a little uh, little warm-ups before you the actual thing you want to sketch keep your wrist free and loose don't spend too much time on one line Kind of experiment even if it's a mess sketch lightly and then without even erasing go over the same sketches with uh, darker lines as you can see here in my sketch continue to draw a lot relax don't think too much about it do not give a bleep about anything just be free and just sketch you will you, you will make mistakes but it doesn't matter especially if uh, it's a drawing where you're sketching and you're going to ink over it and you're going to erase the, the pencils away anyways. So don't care too much about it. Be open to mistakes. Erase erase when you have to. Don't rely on the eraser too much because sometimes you wouldn't need to erase at all. You're going from light to dark. You're thinking in layers. And even when it comes to the sketching, you're sketching light and then you go dark over it. And, uh, and the, the other tip would be, like I said, to time yourself. Draw the same thing over and over again and try to beat your previous record. Um, but at the same time, you don't want quality to suffer too much. And maybe quality might suffer at the first try, 
but if you do it over and over and over and over again, it will improve over time. Make mistakes. If you're afraid of a line and you feel like, oh man, that's not that's not that's not right. That's not going to feel right. Make the mistake anyway, and then you know keep making the mistake with the light strokes. And when you feel you've gotten it, then you go over it with the darker strokes. And you know that's how you kind of improve over time. So you're like thinking almost like thinking with your hand and not not your head. And you know sometimes if you're not sure about a drawing then try you don't have to draw off head you can draw with reference you can do the same thing with reference so draw the same thing uh, using reference over and over again similar to like a life drawing kind of thing and try to beat your previous record. I think the advantages of being able to draw fast are self-explanatory and I hope you guys you know I hope you guys get it I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys improve, I hope you guys as artists, to those who watch these videos, uh, improve and become faster at your craft. Uh, you can just imagine someone like me who makes comic pages, I have to be able to produce those comic pages at, uh, at a certain rate so that I can beat deadlines and maybe for an instance appear in the Sad Day AM magazine. So just almost really any job deadlines are huge so being able to produce quality work at a fast rate is a skill in itself and really with the sketching part once you think once you start thinking in layers a lot of all the um, hard stuff gets easily executed in the beginning and then after you can then go in with more detail inking and adding color and all that stuff and uh, you can still apply the same ideas and principles to that as well to be fast in those you know, fast in like coloring and inking, and I think the the same idea applies. Timing yourself, drawing over and over and over again, and getting used to it, getting comfortable, relaxing, not thinking too much, and all that good stuff. So here you're gonna see me ink this uh, sketch and uh, color it real quick. Even though here it's gonna be a little time lapse. Uh, the main stuff was with the sketch. For those who don't know me, I'm the creator of Apple Black. You can read the first four chapters free of Apple Black. Links in the description to everything you could possibly need. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all that social media good stuff. All links you could possibly need, again, will be in the description. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel because i got more stuff coming. Apple Black Volume 2 details coming soon. Don't forget to hit that bell so you stay notified each time I upload absolutely anything on this channel. Check out Sad AM and Apple Black. Please watch some of my other videos. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned to draw faster. This is White Maga, and I'm out.